Hey, what is going on guys? It is Chuck here and in another Firebot tutorial. In this series of Firebot tutorials, we are going to be taking a look at creating complex commands. Now, there are two types of commands that we're gonna be creating today, and this will start to scratch the surface on Firebot's effect system. Effects are unbelievably powerful, and we'll be taking a look at these over time uh, in future videos. So if you want to see more specifics about a particular effect that you have questions about, uh, leave a comment below and let me know what effect you'd like to see me demo in the future. Uh, for today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the sound effect, play sound effect, and the shout out uh, effect. So uh, let's, let's get started, shall we? Um, so uh, in the last video, we took a look at simple commands and simple commands uh, that we created were Twitter and Burke. Uh, one of the things we're gonna be doing this time around is actually taking a look at um, a complex command creator. Now, if we open up Twitter as a command, again, we're clicking the dots here on the side and hitting edit. Uh, there's this advanced mode at the bottom we can switch to. And if we click it, you'll see that there's actually quite a few new things that we can play with here. Uh, you'll see that there's a description we can add. Uh, Firebot has a website that your viewers can view your commands on. Uh, if they type exclamation commands, Firebot will tell them uh, all about uh, the commands that you've created and the out-of-the-box Firebot system commands, which we'll take a look at in another video. Um, you can see that we have our global cooldown. You can apply a user cooldown. In the advanced editor, you can also choose whether or not you want to send a chat message when the command is on cooldown. Uh, sometimes you don't want chat to be spammed if it's on cooldown, so we'll play around with that. Uh, and you'll see that we have a chat effect. This is where we'll really be uh, playing with this. There are sub commands. We'll take a look at this in another video in the future. Um, but for now, we're gonna hit cancel and we're actually gonna change a setting. So that way going forward, we will see the advanced command creator. So we're gonna go to settings on the side and we're going to go over to commands up at the top. And you'll see that there's a default mode for new commands. Simple or advanced. We're going to switch to advanced. So let's go back to commands. Now the first command we're going to be creating. This is probably the most mature command I can think of creating. And this is a fart command. Who doesn't like a good old fashioned fart command? So we're going to create a new command. So let's create a new custom command. Our trigger here is going to be exclamation so, with exclamation fart, uh, we are going to apply a global cooldown to this. We don't want this to be spammed too often of 10 seconds. However, we don't want Firebot to tell the user that there's this cooldown. We just don't want it to react, basically. We got 10 second cooldown on global. Uh, and we're not going to apply any particular restrictions. However, this is how you would apply... Uh, various restrictions. So if you remember in the simple command creator, you could make a command only work for mods or subscribers or make it work for everyone. Uh, you could actually make this work with other things. So you could do a follow check. So they have to be following you in order for this to work. And you can even create more complex permission requirements. Meaning if you choose by permissions, you can have it be for VIPs as well. So VIPs, and moderators and subscribers may be able to use the command, uh, but normal followers uh, would not be able to do things like that. So you can have uh, some custom permissions here. Um, we're not gonna apply any restrictions. Now, when we create an effect, what we wanna do is uh, hit this add new effects button. If we hit this, uh, you'll see all of the different types of effects that we want to do. So when we did our Twitter command, the simple editor just gave us a chat message. So this is basically what we had. Uh, check out Hey Apple's Twitter, All right? This is basically what we were creating before. What we're doing this time is a little bit different. So instead of a chat message type effect, we want to do a sound effect. So we do a search and we want to play a sound effect. So let's choose play sound. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick a local file. And we're gonna find this in just a second. Now, uh, you can also choose to play a random sound. 
So you can play a specific sound or random sound. So for this, we're gonna do just a single part sound for an app. Um, so let's hit choose file. Uh, I'm gonna go to my drive folder that I store all my stuff in. Uh, there we go, we have farts. We have four fart sounds here. We're gonna choose fart number one. And we can preview this, so we can make sure that this sounds okay. That sounded pretty good, but it was kind of kind of quiet, right? So we can turn this up a little bit. We can turn it up a little more. That sounds good to me. Now you can decide where this output device should be going. So you'll see that it has all sorts of different audio devices uh, available. So you can route this wherever you'd like to route it. So if you're using a Go XLR like I am or a uh, voice meter, um, you can choose your default if you don't know what I just said and that makes no sense to you. Just choose app default and it'll just go into OBS uh, just fine. Um, you can also route this to an overlay, which means that it would only play if your Firebot overlay in OBS is there, which we'll be taking a look at in a second. So we'll leave it app default. Let's have it play out that way. I get to listen to it and so does the stream. Uh, and we will hit add. So we've got our fart command. It'll play a sound, let's save it. So we got our fart command. Let's go to chat. Let's test this bad boy out. So we're gonna type exclamation fart. It farted. If we do it again, it's not gonna do anything because we have that 10 second cooldown. It's also not gonna tell us that we have a cooldown uh, because we don't want it to. Um, however, if we type fart again, it's gonna play once again. Now, playing the same fart sound over and over. Right? It's a fart. It's a good fart. It's a great fart. But we're going to change this fart so it's going to randomize. So instead of playing this specific fart, we're going to choose a random fart to play. So let's choose our farts folder. We'll select farts. And now what will happen when we hit save is when we run our farts command, uh, or our fart command rather, it's going to choose a different fart sound every single time we run this bad boy, which is arguably the most hilarious thing on the planet. Okay, so that was a fart. We're gonna run fart one more time. Different fart, I love it. Okay, cool. That is our fart command. So, uh, there are lots of different effects in there. You can add all sorts of cool things. You can play videos on stream. We're gonna take a look at that in uh, a later video if you guys want to. Uh, but for now, we're gonna create a pretty quintessential command, which is a shout out command. Um, so we're going to delete this bad boy. We don't want our existing, we don't want any pre-made stuff. Oh no, no, no. We're going to, we're going to reset this. So, uh, the first thing I'm actually going to do is open OBS. So let's open OBS over here. What you'll see is that we have uh, a sample stream here, right over here, which is just a, a very old stream of mine. Uh, and then we have our Firebot browser overlay. So to create a browser source in OBS, I Google it if you don't know how. Um, what we're going to do though is we got to get our overlay URL. So um, we're going to go to settings, overlay, and you're going to get your overlay path. So this is the folder here. We're using OBS or slobs. You can also get XSplit. Uh, and if you have a two PC setup, there is a different way uh, to do this. Um, so we've got our overlay here. We're going to copy this domain. Cool. Uh, from here we go to uh, OBS. We've already got our browser source. We're just gonna make sure that this is the correct URL. Now it is. Beautiful. Perfect. We're just gonna clean up our OBS a bit. And also, um, yeah, we won't be dealing with overlay instances, but you can create multiple instances of your Firebot overlay if you need to. Um, I do that for some of the stuff I've done in Firebot. Uh, but for this tutorial, uh, we're not taking a look at complex, complex overlays. <laughs> okay, commands. We're going to create a shout out command. So when we create a shout out command, we're going to do exclamation SO. Now, what we need is we need to be able to have someone give us a name. We've got our shout out command. What we're going to do is we're going to add a restriction to make it so that way only moderators and the streamer can use the shout out command. Now the restriction type here is called uh, permissions. And we're gonna create our permissions here. We're gonna add 
And we're gonna make sure that this says that this is only gonna work for moderators and streamers. So that's me, I'm the streamer, and moderators can use that. Cool, we'll just close that up. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an effect here. So our effect that we're adding is a shout out overlay. So it's actually a pre-made show shout out effect, uh, which is really pretty cool. So if we hit select here, you'll see a little bit of a preview of what this is going to look like. So uh, we can choose our uh, color here. We're going to go with like a nice green, something like that. And you'll see that there's actually a bit of a gradient between the two colors. It goes from one color at the top and another color down at the bottom. If you don't like that, you can just make both colors the same and it's just going to be a flat color. So uh, there you go. Uh, if your text doesn't look great with white color, you can change your color here. Um, you can change the text that you see here. So they are an amazing streamer. Give them a follow. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're actually going to change this. So we're going to say, uh, we're going to say uh, that the person we're shouting out is an amazing streamer. Now to do this, what we want to do is we want to go to this VARS button. These are variables. So this is where you get to add all sorts of cool stuff uh, to this. This is, this is where Firebot gets really cool and powerful. What we're going to look for is the target. Uh, of the shout out. What that means is your shout out has to be at mentioning a person. So we're going to use it, but it's going to strip the at symbol from the command. So whoever it is, uh, the at symbol goes away and it's just a clean version of their name. So we're going to choose target here. So we hit the plus, it adds target is an amazing streamer. We're going to be excited. We're going to add an exclamation mark. Go give them a follow. All right. Now you can also show the last game. So this is this little part here. So if you don't want this, uh, you can check this box and it will go away. Or you can show what their last game is. And it includes some of the art uh, behind the scenes as well. So if you want to see like the album art or the game art of whatever game they're playing. Uh, if not, you don't have to show this. Um, in terms of the username. You'll see, pro tip, use target. That's what we want to do. So uh, we're just going to click on this VARS button again. We're going to search for target, hit the plus button. This will put the username of the target into the command. So it will show their profile picture, uh, their name here. Their name will appear here as well because we have our dollar sign target. And then we'll, we'll be good to go. Uh, you'll see this will last for eight seconds. You can customize this. Keep in mind, that the, there is two seconds of build-in animation and two seconds of build-out animation. So if it's eight seconds, uh, four seconds will be used for the persisting on the screen to get it in to get it out. Uh, so you can see uh, how this works here. You can also choose where this happens. So this can be on the right side, middle right, top right, middle left, right smack dab in the middle of your screen. This is kind of large. Um, so uh, I like it just in the middle, either middle center, middle right, or middle left. Um, you can also, if you are super anal and want to get this into an exact location, you can specify a pixel location in the overlay in OBS by mentioning the number of pixels from the top, number of pixels from the left. You can switch this to the right side or the bottom. We're going to keep it simple. Middle right is where we want this thing to go. All right, so let's hit add here. All right, so we hit save. Now let's save our changes and test our shout out. Let's test by shouting out uh, eBigs. The amazing maker of Firebot, one of the awesome devs. There it is. He was last seen playing Minecraft. It worked to put his name up at the top, put his name in the eBigs is an amazing streamer. Go give them a follow. We can shout out Ninja. Why not, right? So cool, we got our overlay working, but it's kind of sad, right? Look at our chat. We don't have anything being said in chat, no link to go do anything. So let's go back to our command. We're gonna hit our edit button here and let's add a chat effect now. So we're gonna add a chat effect. So if we search for chat, we have chat right here. We'll hit select. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say target 
is an amazing streamer. Go check them out at, and we're gonna put the Twitch URL. There is not a variable for Twitch's uh, uh, website, so you have to type it. But after the slash, we're gonna put target, target. So the name without the at symbol gets pasted at the end so we get a valid working URL. And perfect. Again, you'll see this little variable button is around a lot of places. We have all sorts of things added to this if we really wanted to. But for now, we're not gonna add any others. We've got our target. We'll hit add, we'll save. Let's test it out. So let's shout out eBigs again. So again, what we're doing is we're adding an at symbol. Uh, we don't have to. If we add an at symbol, you'll see that it is purged thanks to that target. So we hit er, uh, enter, eBigs, eBigs, no at symbol, eBigs is here, and a working Twitch link. So I hope that gives you a brief introduction to complex commands in Firebot. Uh, commands can have multiple effects, can do some really neat things. Um, yeah, peace out, stay classy. I love your guys' faces and I will see you guys in the next tutorial, which should be coming up in a card in just a second, right where my face was.